Alan from Albury has five hectares of land. He has never had pigs or any other stock before, but he always wanted to. Alan saw Tina from Tulibuck was selling pigs online. Before buying them, Alan checked the rules for keeping pigs in New South Wales. He found the responsible pig ownership and moving pigs into and within New South Wales Prime Facts on the Department of Primary Industries DPI website and made sure he followed all the steps. He called his local council and checked that he was allowed to keep pigs. Alan then applied to local land services for a property identification code, PIC, for his land. A PIC is needed to identify any land, no matter how big or small, where livestock live. Alan called Tina and arranged to buy two of her pigs, one little piglet and one big sow. Alan got his mate, Tim the truckie, to drive to Tulliba to collect his new pigs. Tim arrived in Albury to deliver the two pigs and Alan's copy of the Pig Pass National Vendor Declaration, NVD. Tina had given Tim two copies of the Pig Pass NVD, one for Tim to keep and one to give to Alan. Alan checks the pigs are healthy and identified with an ear tag or a tattoo. Alan doesn't have any other stock. If he buys more pigs, he knows to keep the new animals separate. Quarantining animals on arrival ensures that animals incubating disease are identified and not released to infect others. Once he knows the new animals are healthy, they can be introduced to the animals already on the farm. Alan has two days after getting the pigs to record the movement of the pigs from Tina's farm to his on the Pig Pass database. Alan registers on the Pig Pass database. He logs in using his username and password. He clicks on the P2P movement button. This allows people to transfer pigs from property to property, P2P. Alan types in the serial number of the Pig Pass NVD and presses look up. He makes sure Tina's property, PIC, NA123456, shows up as the source PIC on the screen. Alan then fills in his PIC, NC785432, as the destination. He fills in other information from the PigPass NVD onto the database. Alan has to keep the PigPass NVD for three years, so he puts it in his filing cabinet. Alan goes and feeds his pigs some commercial pig food he bought from his local rural store. He knows that pigs should not be fed meat scraps as this can spread disease. Alan is happy. He has healthy pigs that are traceable from where they were born to where they are now. He knows he is looking out for his farm, the rest of New South Wales and all of Australia. For further information, call Local Land Services 1300 795 299. Pig Pass Help Desk 1800 001 458.